Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by and clicking on the video. My name is Kat, I read romance novels and love to talk about them here on my channel. I've had my channel here for about a year and a half now. It's growing with each video I post and I'm so grateful for that. I love being able to talk about new to me authors, my good old favorite authors. The book we're gonna talk about today is one of my very favorite authors. It's called Our Way by T.L. Swan. Wow, so this book was reminiscent of the series that I fell in love with, her Stanton series. I have to say that even though the Stanton series and this book, Our Way, were completely different subject matters and aren't similar, it felt, Our Way felt very organically a T.L. Swan book, and I love that. There's a reason why I go back to her again and again and again. And this book, she her, exercised her writing chops in a completely different way. She made me think a lot about the subject matter. She made me think about it in a way that, you know, as a woman, I would think that I would feel the same way Eliza did in the book, and yet there was things that Eliza did that I would not have done. But the subject matter is really something very evocative of where we are in life right now. And one of the things I really like about T's writing is that it's very real and it plays like a movie in my head and I can envision myself as one of her characters. I wanna fall in love and do fall in love with her heroes a lot. Nathan in this book reminded me so much of Joshua Stanton. And yet they're so different people, but there was just something that called to me with Nathan that reminded me of how Joshua pulled me in. So I really liked that part of this book. And then again, I really liked the fact that she wrote something very different. I'm going to dance around that because I want to be respectful of the subject matter. I try to give spoiler free reviews because I don't want to tell you everything, but I want to entice you to want to read the book. So, but there's part of this book that I feel like will spoil everything if I tell you. So don't be mad at me and just know that if I'm being a little vague, it's because I want you to read the book, not because I'm not trying to tell you if that makes any sense. I'm gonna leave my glasses on. I know there's a little bit of a glare, but I feel like I take them on and off so much in my videos that I feel like maybe just leaving them on might not be as distracting. So bear with me. Let's talk about Our Way. Our Way is about Eliza and Nathan. They are longtime best friends. They've been best friends for 10 years. We meet them right away as they are meeting as two young people who work in the same hospital. They meet in the hospital cafeteria. Eliza is a nurse, Nathan is a doctor. They hit it off right away, the very best of friends. We know through reading that they literally are each other's person. They are very connected, they share an apartment, they do holidays together. They are each other's very closest person in their lives. Something I did love, which, and this is totally gonna be a teaser for you, but I loved that we did see a previous character from one of T's books in this book. So I encourage you to go ahead and find it and figure out who that is. With Eliza, we know that she's interviewing for a different job. Nathan is, is good, Nathan, has done very well for himself. He's a very successful doctor. He prototyped a mechanism in his field that has brought him wealth. And they seem to both be very comfortable where they are. Until they aren't. 
they are out on a Saturday afternoon shopping, spending the day together as they normally do, and something happens that completely throws Nathan for a loop. He is shocked. He doesn't understand it. He kind of reacts in a way that is like, WTF, what's going on? Eliza doesn't see it in him at all. It's one-sided at that point that it's just something that happens to him. And you're like, oh, okay, this is interesting. I always laugh out loud when I'm reading one of Tail Swan's books. They're funny. Their banter is hysterical. There's always something in her books that makes that book extra special. One of the funny things that I highlighted was <laughs> Nathan talking about Eliza's battery-operated boyfriend. The banter that they have between that was really funny. I really laughed at that. Eliza has great girlfriends and one of them meets a guy at a bar. There's a very funny situation about that. She always brings something new and fresh into the book that's just for that book, if that makes any sense. And I love picking those moments out and I always laugh about them. Eliza and Nathan have incredible banter, like I mentioned, and they seem to bicker a lot. They're totally the Bickersons, but after I finished the book and I was talking to some friends about it, and that was another thing about this book, is that when I read the Stanton series, so going back years ago now, I didn't have anyone to talk to about it. I wasn't really involved in the book community at all. T.L. Swan, actually her group, the Swan Squad, which I have proudly display my little sign there, is actually the first author's group that I even joined. She's also the first author that I did a video on on my channel. So she kind of got me into wanting to explore the book community more and connecting with other authors and thus making friendships. So it was so fun to be able to read this book and be messaging my friends about it. Anyway, getting back to the Bickersons. <laughs> so I wondered if that was just going to be them. Is that just their relationship that they bicker? My husband and I aren't really like that, but I know some people that are. That's just how they work. But after I finished the book and I kind of let it digest for a little bit, I realized I think what she was trying to give us with them, how I saw it was that they both, as their relationship started to change, they both had these issues is the only word I can think of. And that affected how they related to each other because their dynamic was changing. They were learning new things about each other and discovering things about themselves. And so I think that their bickering was very much showing us how they were changing. And that's the way that T was showing us that things were changing between them. But damn, they, <laughs> they, they went at each other. They needled each other, in my opinion. And most of the time it was really funny, but then in the later parts of the book, oh, my heart just broke because I understood where it was coming from. I understood Eliza 100% in how she was suddenly allowed to think about Nathan in a way that she hadn't before. And all of that that brought up for her, and I'll go into Nathan later on about him and his feelings, but I understood her that there was a shift and her trying to understand how that made her feel. It's no doubt that they love each other. A hundred percent they love each other. Having the ability of their relationship potentially changing really throws both of them for such a loop. Eliza is worried. I and mean, they're both worried about it. What if they take that step and it doesn't work, right? 
they are best uh, they are the best of friends and that's a scary prospect that's a real life prospect they know already that they what they have is on such solid footing with their friendship that it could be so much better to be physical with one another but if it doesn't work out they lose their other half in a way that they've had for 10 years so much of what eliza said and what her fears were i understood a hundred percent and then with nathan he was having a crisis within himself in a in addition to not wanting to screw up their friendship and being so scared because Eliza's the one person that's always loved him, bar none. So all of those feelings and the way T writes it, it's so emotional. It's heavy. This is a heavy book. This, and when I say heavy, I don't mean depressing. I mean very thought provoking, very emotional. This is not just a love story. This is a love story that's very current and I'm sure that people have dealt with this type of love story in their lives. And I really thought about when I was preparing for the video how much I wanted to talk about because I also don't want, I don't want to give away everything, but I also want to pay tribute to the fact that it's very real. It's not something that I have experienced in my life, so I don't want to say the wrong thing. I don't want to make light of a story and I cannot imagine what it's like to be either Eliza or Nathan in the situation. I can just tell you how much I loved it and want you to read it and the rest is up to you. I got really mad, really mad and I kind of felt like ugh, men in a couple of parts of this book and it was in two different places with Nathan in that one of them is his brother gave him advice about something that he should do before he takes that next step with Eliza and I thought it was terrible <laughs> advice. And Nathan went for it and I was so mad that he did that. Oh, I understood, oh. but I was so mad about it. Actually, there was three times that he did something that really pissed me off and it was interesting because it was like he was like I did it I told you now get over it and let's move on he felt like his reasoning for doing what he did that he sought counsel and they said they thought it was a great idea <laughs> it was a terrible idea <laughs> but he frustrated me and then the third time was later on in the book and he makes the decision to go do something again. Ugh, I wanted to smack him. I absolutely wanted to smack him. I really tried not to hold it against him, but I am going to always remember that about him. Their chemistry is off the charts. I mean, Eliza says one point that their bodies don't just work together, they start fires together. I'm paraphrasing, but whew, they had it going on big time. We get to the point in the story where we know that something's got to give. I was surprised that it was Eliza who actually got off the merry-go-round. It was really sad, and this is something that she says. It isn't supposed to be like this. I'm 31 years old and I feel like an insecure teenager, scared that my douche of a boyfriend wants somebody else. But then the sad reality sets in. My boyfriend isn't a douchebag. He's a beautiful man who I'm deeply in love with. You know, they are in their 30s and that's a whole different ball of wax than writing a love story about or being in a relationship in your 20s. And so they, Eliza makes a what I thought to be a very surprising decision, but kind of a mature decision to kind of get them off the hot plate a bit and kind of just like cool things down a little bit because they just can't keep going the way they're going. Ugh. After that, after chapter 22, 21, 
oh my God, stop it, chapter 22. After that, my stomach was just completely 100% in knots for the rest of the book. There's the point towards the end of the book where Eliza says, we got through in an argument like adults. <laughs> and I, I had to laugh, but that's exactly the way it felt. And that's kind of the point where I was like, I, I was able to breathe a sigh of relief because that's when I knew that T was going to give us a happily ever after. And I wanted that so much for Nathan and Eliza. So, so much. The very last words in the book, well, before the epilogue, were my favorite. And I know that she's shared it in other places, but I wanted to share it with you because I just, it just summed it up perfectly and I just loved it. Our story isn't neat and it doesn't fit into any boxes. We are complicated and messy, effed up and tainted, but this is love, our way. Oh, it was so perfect. And I have to say that the epilogues are so bittersweet for me because they are the best and worst part of the book for me. She writes the best epilogues. I love all the information that she gives us. We get to see them a bit in the future. It just settles my heart so much in knowing where they are in life. And then it's the worst because it's the end of the book, like literally the end. And I never want her stories to end. Let me know if you have read Our Way or any of other T's amazing books. I highly recommend all of them. And I'm so excited that we already get to look forward to her next book, The Takeover, very, very soon. Makes all of us Swan Squad girls very happy. I will, of course, include the links to the other videos I've done on T's books in the description box below. I will also put the link to our way, the Amazon link, if you would like to pick the book up. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today, guys. I'll see you very soon. Bye.